in about a month or two, I'm, I'm going to have braids in my head. Don't play with her. Don't play with her. <laughs> Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Sunday. I am headed to the grocery store. First I gotta go and pick up my Blue uh, King order. Sorry for the beeping, I'm pulling out of the garage. I have to go pick up my smoothie because I haven't eaten today. Well, I ate some oatmeal earlier, but I ate some oatmeal for breakfast. Um, but that is the only thing that I have eaten and I have to be super conscious about what I'm doing in terms of like my diet because like I told y'all I can get I can go extreme left with this I don't think I mentioned this but uh, the reason why it's so hard for me to like lose weight or do anything is because uh, diet culture is like yeah diet culture is a mess so I have to make sure that I'm paying attention to eating what I'm eating and actually eating and not binging and like not depriving myself that was just my long-winded way of saying that although I'm going to the grocery store I am not gonna not eat even though I haven't eaten since like 12 o'clock and it's almost six um so yeah I'm headed to pick up my smoothie from smoothie king and I'm gonna go to the grocery store. I think I'm gonna try to bring y'all in the grocery store, but I am obviously recording on my phone because we are backwards. Every time I try to flip it to not be backwards, the quality of the video is reduced, so I haven't been doing that. Um, but I'm gonna figure out like a car mount situation um, in the car. Anyway, I don't wanna ramble because I noticed that I ramble a lot in the car. <laughs> but I'm headed to the Smoothie King. And I'm gonna pick up my smoothie and then I'm gonna go to the grocery store and then maybe I should go shopping around before I go to the grocery store. Maybe I should just go to the grocery store because that's all I really need to spend money on. Um, we'll see wherever I end up because I'm tired, probably because I haven't eaten anything, but also because I'm exhausted from all this traveling that I have been doing over the last few months. Um, but yeah, I am headed to the grocery store and I will see y'all when I get there. channel I am Char for those who are new here and I post content twice a week I'm turn a light on so it looks a little bit better here I post content twice a week typically on Wednesdays and Saturdays uh, I posted a video today it was supposed to be posted on Saturday but I was tired so I didn't edit it until Sunday but, uh, no, I edited it. No, I don't know. Yeah, I'm rambling. Anyway, <laughs> welcome back to my channel. Um, I post content here on Wednesdays and Saturdays. It's lifestyle at this point. I started out posting about my journey building my house and then my journey furnishing my house. And we're just kind of doing whatever feels right at this moment. So... If you checked out the content, if you're here sometimes and sometimes you forget to come back because you're not subscribed, wink. I don't know how to wink without doing all that to my face. Um, go ahead and subscribe. Click the subscribe button down below. Turn on your post notification so you never miss a video from me. Um, I believe I recorded in the car and I probably said all this stuff before, so this may be redundant. But if not, welcome i'm happy that you're here i love you for watching let's get into it so y'all saw me just bring in a ton of stuff from target um as i mentioned in my video yesterday 
I have been struggling with my weight and just trying to travel and balance eating right, moving around and all of that stuff. And now I'm at a position where I, I physically don't feel good, not like immune system wise, but like I physically like muscle back aches. I'm 5'2 for reference and I weigh over 230 pounds, let's just say that. Look, I weigh 260, okay? That's just the thing. That's just what it is. This is real life. I think that's going to be the motto for my channel. This is real life. Um, and I just really need to get my life together. So I went to the grocery store, and I'm trying to be super intentional about my groceries. I'm trying to, at least for the for this you know next couple of months, next few months, pay attention to what I am intaking, counting my calories, uh, staying within a certain number of calories, while also just eating things that satisfy me, satisfy my sweet tooth, satisfy uh, the cravings that I have without having to go and eat junk food. So. It's going to be an interesting time. I'm definitely going to be documenting it here on this channel. I might create another a playlist and just post like weekly updates or maybe monthly updates or something. Um, I might not even post them. I might keep them private uh, for the first month if I do it weekly just to kind of see how I feel um, because I'm just not that consistent and I don't want to set myself up with a requirement that I need to make sure I have content for that piece of, you know, content for my channel. Again, I'm rambling, but I have to find some creative ways to, to be successful in my health and wellness journey. So I just went to the grocery store and I bought groceries with the intention of eating better and eating healthier. I did buy a Snickers and a bag of Cheetos, but I think that's where we have to think about balance, right? So everything else is pretty decent in terms of like what I should be eating and et cetera, et cetera. And I will do a haul right now so you guys can see what I'm eating or what I bought so that we can start doing the meal prep for the week. I am off this week, so I think it's extremely important since I'm off this week to be prepared with my meals because that means I have more flexibility to run out and get something real quick, but I don't want to do that. Um, so I'm still going to meal prep today and then tomorrow with the little $60 that they get, not a little $60, <laughs> with a $60 weekly food allowance that I get from work, I'm gonna go to Whole Foods and get juice because I wanted to juice, I have a juicer, I just don't feel like it, y'all. So, <laughs> I'm gonna go get some pre-made for the week and that's probably what I'm gonna do with that $60 budget uh, going forward. Uh, so let me just show y'all the haul of what I bought from Target. First, let me show y'all the random stuff that's not food. Um, I got this fan, I'm tripping on my shoes. I had to get this fan, y'all, because if you've seen my bedroom, you know, y'all can't even see me, child. If you've seen my bedroom, you know that I have like a wall of windows, and then there's like three, three windows above the normal windows, the regular windows, and they let in so much sunlight during the daytime, so it's on the weekends, I'm typically not in there, but I like to like lounge in my bedroom and watch Netflix all day, and it's just not comfortable. So, I am in the market for a light fixture for my living room, and I think I found one. Um, hopefully, I'll get it next week since I'm out and have some of these home things done while I'm out next week because I want to get the light fixture and have it put in the living room, then I'll use the ceiling fan and have it put in uh, the bedroom. I don't like that light on the ceiling fan, but whatever. Um, so that's what I'll do, but in the meantime, I got myself, oh my God, see, I got myself a fan. <laughs> uh, that's what I am so excited about now because after I put all these groceries away, if it made myself something to eat, I am going to go hang out in my bedroom. And then, of course, I bought some expensive ass bounty. Uh, this is like $9, $8.99 plus tax, so you might as well say 
uh, for paper towels, and it's just like everything is just so expensive now. Now let me show y'all the grocery. All right, you guys. So here is the haul. This is two hundred and seventeen dollars worth of stuff. Well, including that that fan and that uh, paper towel. So the fan was thirty six dollars, and the paper towels were ten dollars, like I said. And the rest of it was food, and my bill was two seventeen. So I, I mean. This is a pretty small haul for two, $217, right? Anyway, let's just get started. So over here we have our meat section. And I like to call this the fast meat. <laughs> uh, so this is just like the Oscar Mayer uh, rotisserie season sandwich meat. And then I like this uh, turkey smoked sausage by Hillshire Farm. And then some bacon for breakfast. Uh, I usually don't eat bacon or whatever, but Michael does. Y'all know I have a 23, basically 23 year old. Uh, and then I like to put that sugar free barbecue sauce on these. It's so good. Um, so those are the meatballs. So that's the fast meat. And then uh, they didn't have that chicken I usually get with this already seasoned. So I switched it up and got some stew meat. I'll basically just saute this and eat it with like veggies or something. And then I got some boneless country style pork ribs. I got two of those. These were $5.99, the pork ribs and the uh, stew meat was $7.99. So I guess that's not too bad. And then um, additional protein. I like my eggs pasteurized. And then I got a salmon. So I think I'm going to make the salmon today for dinner. The salmon was like $19.99. I'm going to make the salmon today just because I want to make it while it's fresh. I like my salmon fresh. Next is the fruit section. So we got some blueberries, some strawberries, and some grapes that... Uh, are the sweet fruits and for the non-sweet fruits, I guess tomatoes are still kind of sweet. I got tomatoes and then I got four avocados. Oh, y'all can't see, hold on. <laughs> I got four avocados and avocados are not hard to come by. I know that they were saying for a while that it was gonna be hard to get avocados because of the import stuff. I guess they resolved that, I don't know. Um, and then, the, and then for the vegetables, I got zucchini. Okay, so first of all, let me open this up so y'all can see. Um, what does this look like? This don't look like a cucumber, does it? Right. So the girl runs this up as a specialty cucumber, and it came up to like four dollars. And I was like, ma'am, that was zucchini. And when she went back and rung those up, they it went down from like. From four dollars and some, almost five dollars to a dollar and ninety nine cents. I'm like, sis, you better get it right. <laughs> um, I got an English cucumber because I want to make that cucumber salad I saw on TikTok. I've been eating a lot of broccoli salad, so I'm trying to switch it up this week. Um, and then, uh, in addition to switching it up, I got some Brussels sprouts. I love Brussels sprouts, so I want to make uh, Brussels sprouts with one of my meals this week and I got asparagus. And I can't buy too much vegetables because sometimes I'll just eat a salad and then the vegetables will go bad. So yeah, that's what I bought for vegetables. And then for bread, I got these bagel things because sometimes I want a little bit of bread and I'll just eat half of these with some cream cheese that I already have. And here's my Snickers. <laughs> uh, dairy section I love cheese so I got these because these are super easy to grab when I'm working and then when I make my little carcucci boards I like to use these and I also like to put these on my sandwiches and then of course you can never have too much shredded cheese um, and then I got butter salted and unsalted and I love Kerrygold because it is grass fed and then some sour cream. Um, this is not dairy. I got some oat milk creamer. This one, I haven't tried it before, and it was the last one there. They had hella vanilla, 
hella oat cookie or whatever. So I was like, let me get this one since this is all gone. Maybe something, it's something special about this one. So <laughs> that's the logic that I use. So I'm trying this one. And of course, I'm gonna let y'all know how it goes. This is the cold root I have been drinking. Stoke, I wanna say. Uh, that's why they have the line over the top. The O is oak or whatever. <laughs> Have you ever had uh, a haul done this way? <laughs> uh, and then I always purchase these. These are what I like to drink. The passion fruit and the awake. I have two of each. And then Michael likes the Simply branded products. So I got him the lemonade with raspberry and the fruit punch and i think that is all that we have for groceries before i went to target i uh stopped at gnc after i got my smoothie because it was right there in the, the shopping center i needed some pre-workout because that's another thing uh that i've been missing from my routine whenever i have pre-workout it definitely gets the juices running and i have to feel that itch you know the issue that nobody likes? I have to feel that. Um, so, I'm trying a different one. Usually I drink a Woke AF, uh, but I'm trying to see four. And this one has no, well it has like less than one carb in it. The other ones I saw had four carb and stuff. So y'all read the back of the packaging because you don't need to be taking this stuff if we got all of these carbs in it. Um, so this flavor is strawberry watermelon and it's only 20 servings. Uh, the other ones were like 30 servings. So I'm guessing it's the ingredients that makes it expensive or not. But I will definitely uh be letting y'all know how this is i'll link it in the description box down below i went to gnc and got this and it was i want to say 44 dollars um the woke brand is like 60 dollars but what i tell you that <laughs> that ish be having me bouncing off the walls it be having me bounce off the walls but now i feel like i've gotten immune to it so we switching it up for 20 servings so yeah that is it for the haul i'm gonna put the groceries up i don't feel like y'all need to see that maybe in the next month or so i'll do an updated refrigerator and pantry situation because i did order a ton of shit from amazon uh for that but right now it's just it's it's just normally what it looks what it looked like when i did it the first time so yeah i will be back good morning it's monday happy monday i don't know why i'm so excited because i just had like the worst peloton ride ever uh, my body is so stiff but i made it through i did 20 minutes probably should have done a beginner ride but it's okay i uh basically scheduled my rides and i'll pop up here how I did that, uh, basically went into the Peloton app and for this week, I scheduled all 20 minute rides just to kind of get myself back into the groove of things. Uh, so if you're on Peloton, girl, go on ahead and follow me. My uh, Peloton description name or my Peloton username will be here. So go ahead and follow me so we can ride together. Anyway, welcome back to my channel. Today is Monday. As I, I mentioned, I'm in the kitchen because I have decided that I'm going to make myself an iced coffee today. Um, Y'all know what I was talking about yesterday, uh, balance. So coffee is something that I cannot do without, but I am going to try to ease back on the sugar in the coffee. So oat milk is going to be my thing. Um, everything else I think I'm good on so I'm probably not gonna eat breakfast until like 10 it's 8 22 I'm not really hungry and I don't like to eat this early so yeah I'm getting ready to make my coffee and I think I'm gonna do a reel and I'll just insert the reel after this clip so I hope you guys have a good day I hope you guys have a fantastic week uh, of course subscribe Follow me on all the social media uh, platforms, especially Pinterest. I've been really active over there. Um, yeah, and I will see y'all later when we figure out what we're gonna do today. Hey 
Hey y'all, it is later in the day on Monday. Let me decrease this. Um, and I decided it's 2.25. So I decided to get out of the house because y'all know on a regular week when I'm working, I don't have an opportunity to go out and do stuff that I wouldn't normally do. So this week, that is what this week is going to be about. So I am headed out to run some errands. Um, I'm thinking I am going to go right now. I'm going to go to Home Goods, and then from Home Goods, I might go to Sephora, and then I need to go. I don't need to go to Target. So we're, we're going to see if I make it. <laughs> make it through my errands without going to Target uh, but I do want to go to Whole Foods because I told y'all I wanted to use my um, I wanted to use my food allowance for the week and get some juices so that I can have in the morning um, and then I also need to go to the beauty supply because my hair is growing like I picked it out last night and I got a good half an inch or you know three quarters of an inch of hair so I want to get one of those sponges so that it's easier for me to get the curls to be popping. Um, and I also been doing some research on the wig. So I think I'm going to save the wig for fall, uh, which is always the time that I'm like super ready to cut my hair off. But uh, yeah, so those are the, the, the um, errands that I think we're going to run today. And later on today, I'm supposed to meet up with my friend for uh, lunch at this soul food restaurant, which now I'm kind of regretting it because, <sighs> but I have not seen her in like a month. So I want to see my friend and if I have to eat cabbage and green beans or the meat or whatever to, to be able to see her, I, um, you know, it is what it is. So. I will be taking you guys along with me today. Some parts will be recorded, some parts won't, because Sephora is one of those stories that I just cannot record in. It's just, I'll be in the zone, y'all. So I'm going to close it out right now because I typically find myself rambling in the car um, and I need my backup camera. So I will see you. I like this one. Like, even though it's like a solid color, I feel like it's still too busy. But it's definitely less expensive than that um, twelve hundred dollar one that I want. All right, y'all. So I am at at home, and I, it's looking promising. I think I will find what it is that I'm looking for. Uh, let me show y'all. So I'm looking for some coffee table decor and my theme of course is neutrals and then I'm adding black and bronze. Well black's already included but I'm adding bronze throughout the house for the accent and I like this but I'm not really sure yet but they have a ton of them so I'm hoping that once I decide on the final you know product if I want it it's still here. I'm not going to get it today but I needed to document it and it's only $21.99 so what I'm looking for is a round y'all know how the rectangle black tray I'm looking for a round black tray and then I want like a a little bronze like this color bronze little dish to put like um candy or whatever in something I don't know <laughs> The vision that I'm going for is minimal, but tying like the things in the ceiling to the things on the table. Like I would like something like this, but I don't want it to have like that pedestal on it. I just want it to sit flat. And then what? what is this for? Anyway, I'll be back and hopefully when I come back, I have some stuff and some good news to share. So, stay tuned. Hey, y'all. So, we are... We're coming on the 
struggle bus right now. I wouldn't say the struggle bus. I went to Home Goods, absolutely nothing in there but Halloween and fall decor. I'm like, what is happening? Like, damn. Can I, can we get out of August? Please, can we get out of August? Anyway. Um, so I went into at home and I found a couple of pieces that I think I am going to be able to use. Um, there was a little girl in there and she was staring at me and I'm like, these people need to teach their kids how not to stare. Staring is not nice. One day, it's not going to be me, but one day somebody going to be like, what you staring at? Like, they ain't never seen a black person before. Um, which, I mean, maybe they haven't, especially with COVID. She looked like she was about three years old. Um, but <laughs> it's just so funny to me. It's like, girl, what? what? Hi. I say, I always say hi. I'll be like, hey, how you doing? And she was just there. And I'm like, okay. Hey, how you doing? And then I get to the register. And the lady was like, oh, are you enjoying this heat? And I'm like, enjoying the heat? Girl, it is hot as hell outside. Literally, it's 106 degrees. When my car says 106 today. And I feel like I need to go back in the house and try it again because this is not normal for me. Like, I don't be outside like this. And it's too hot. It is hot. Shit. I'll be back. I'm gonna go to Target. I might as well. I mean, I'm right here. Yeah, so I'm back from uh, outside. <laughs> it's too much. I just want to show y'all really quick what I got. Let me turn this light on because we need some light. Okay, so I got nine percent, so we might lose each other. But uh, from at home is all the stuff I purchased anything from. Uh, Y'all know, similar to the kitchen, I everything is black and white in my house, right? So similar to the kitchen, I wanted to add some warmth with the wood and the bronze and black. Um, are the bronze on the black lamps or pendant lights? So I got this. I don't know if you can see the color really well because this lighting is weird, but we'll take it over there to the, the, the coffee table. I'm gonna try to see if I can style with the things that I already have. And then the other thing, the only other thing that I got from at home was these round coasters. I wanted to add roundness to this coffee table because it's rectangle and the couch is like giving lines. So I felt like it made sense to like the, the decor that I put on the table for it to not all be round, of course, but for, you know, me to add some round elements to the decor on the table. So I'm gonna take us over to the table and we're gonna try some of these things that I already have. And I have them placed here on the dining table, which is exactly the same as the coffee table. So it's kind of giving me what I can probably expect it to look like uh, once I bring it over there. So I'm thinking I could use this as an element for the coffee table or even this, but this is giving like clash. So I don't know. And then I was also thinking about maybe this bowl that I got from Target, that one shopping trip, but then I don't know if I want anything to be raised up that high off the table. So, well, this is probably equally the same height, but the width of this is whatever. We'll just play around with it. We just wanna play around with it and see where we land. So, yeah, let's go to the coffee table. Minimal, 
but I don't think I have enough to even start to try. So I think I'm gonna have to do some shopping on Amazon because this just looks random. And I definitely, ooh, sorry, yeah. <laughs> I'm definitely not the one to be random with my decor. So stay tuned. Oh y'all, so this is where the creativity really has to come in. And I just, I don't know if I have it. I made it this far though. I'm going to succeed, okay. <laughs> So, I pulled this out of the guest room. No one really sleeps in there at this point right now anyway. So, I now put my Joe Malone candle there as the black. And then on this thing that I got from my office that's on the credenza, which I'm selling. If you know anybody that wants to buy a credenza, let me know. Uh, uh, and I put the, the coasters on top of that, you know, for the color contrast. And I feel like in the middle, I need like... Either a vase with flowers or plants in like a square situation. Uh, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Or maybe this should go in the middle. <sighs> Why is it so hard? Well, first of all, I need my coffee table books because I want to sit that on some coffee table books, which will add some dimension because the coffee table books would be square. So I'm going to have a black one and a, maybe like two white ones or two black ones and a white one or maybe just all white because that black thing is going to be black enough. But yeah, this is going to take some time. I need to go watch some videos and look on Pinterest for some, for some inspiration. At this point, I'm just grabbing anything that I see that's interesting that might give me, you know, the aesthetic that I need. I think this coffee table situation is going to be, you have to just play around with it and then you'll get it together. But I think I'm gonna go watch Diamond's video again because she had three options for designing her coffee table that I think I need to refer back to. So yeah, I'm gonna do that and see where I land. Cause this right here is gonna cause me to just leave the coffee table blank. <laughs> oh, and additionally, that one bronze thing that I got from at home, I switched it out for uh, whatever the thing, that's the little square thing that I had over here. So this is where we put our keys and obviously I have my sunglasses and my mask. Uh, and I like it. Cause it, again, adds the element of bronze to my entire house. And this mirror still needs to come down and I think I'm gonna go ahead since I'm off this week <laughs> and fix this table and put this glass part where it's supposed to go. Um, yeah, so I, I love this right here. It fits perfectly. Um, I need to get that out of that ninja jar and put it in some soil. But that one right there is living its best life. Let's see, I haven't watered this in like a month and it's still growing. Anyway, we're not here to talk about plants. So yeah, um, I need to hide this thing. I need to get this mounted on the wall or something. <sighs> this is so hard. This is such hard work. In other news, I picked this up from the beauty supply store and I am going to do something with my hair. Um, I remember using this when I first went natural so they have this wide side for you to have like wide curls and then they have this tiny side so it was only five dollars so yeah I'm hoping that it's going to make my curls pop without me doing too much effort but my hair is at a point right now where I need to pick it out so let me show y'all again I look crazy y'all but I have like hair it's my hair is tightly coiled so you can't really tell but I mean look at that in about a month or two I'm, I'm gonna have braids in my head don't play with her don't play with her <laughs> i'll see y'all later